right, let's identify the premise and conclusion of an argument. And I know what you're thinking. Uh, what's a premise and a conclusion? Yeah, that's a good question. So let's start with some definitions. The premise is a statement in an argument that provides the reason or the support for the conclusion. So those are basically um, what you're using to make your conclusion. And then the conclusion is just the result. So if I say uh, my floor is dirty, um, I do not walk on dirty floors. The, those would be the premises, right? Those are the statements. I have a dirty floor. I do not walk on dirty floors. The conclusion would be, I am not walking on my floor. It's dirty, and, right? Right. So there it's like the premise are just the statements that lead you to the, uh, the decision or the conclusion. So let's look at this. So first we're going to break down the following statement into premises and conclusion. So cats are great pets because they can be loving but are also independent. So the premises, those, that's your proof. That's your, your statement of what's happening. Um, okay, so uh, let's kind of break this down. So a premise. Premise one would be cats are loving, right? They're great pets because they can be loving. So we'll just, oh, well, we should use that wording. Cats can be loving. That is a premise. Premise two. Cats are, ooh, not can'ts. <laughs> Cats are independent. Okay, so cats are loving. Cats are independent. Those are the two statements that we have. So what is the conclusion then? Cats are great pets. That's kind of how we put this together. If we have these two premises, these two statements, we can then use that to create the conclusion, putting them all together in a statement. Okay? All right, so now construct a conclusion based on the following premises. So Desiree is the youngest child in her family. Desiree's parents had four daughters. So if she's the youngest and there are four daughters, I mean, the obvious conclusion to me is that, gosh, this computer today is killing me. I don't know what's happening here. Um, the, the obvious, oh, you piece of trash. Don't you guys sometimes wanna just throw your computer right out the window or is it just me? Um, so my obvious conclusion is that I'm not going to type it. I will write it because the typing is not happening. So we would say Desiree has three older sisters. That is my conclusion. She's the youngest and there are four daughters. So if there's daughter one, daughter two, daughter three, daughter four, she would be the youngest. She's the youngest child. So she has three older sisters. That would be my conclusion based off the two premises that I was provided.